how are you doing? Uh, Keith here. I uh, hope you're all well. I've just reinstalled uh, this computer. Well, not reinstalled it. It's a brand new installation. Brand new computer. So I've had to start from scratch with Windows 10. Uh, so, yeah. But I was actually up in Scotland for a week. I got back at the weekend. This weekend passed. So I was up there for a week. And... Yeah, I've not done much in the past two weeks. I think the last review I did was the Mad Dog mod, the competition flagship. Uh, so I've done nothing since. Of course, I've got a new PC, then I had to go to Scotland, so I've never had time to sort of well, install or build a PC. So I've just done that this week. So hopefully, all being well, this is now up and running. So yes, this is just a quick, hi there, how you doing? Quick vlog. What's coming up? Well, uh, three weeks ago, I was at Nottingham at uh, Vera Boutique for the USA UK uh, e-liquid sort of cloud competition. It's all for the Birmingham uh, Vapors Expo coming up in May very shortly, which I'll be at. I picked up one of these. This is the... If I get focusing. Focus. There we go. This is the Council of Vapor Phoenix. Now, I've been using this every single day for the past three weeks. It is, I mean, I'm going to do a review of it anyway, but quick, what it does. It's basically a ceramic coil, and it's a disposable tank. Yeah, $32.99, and it's basically disposable, so far. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are using the Phoenix at the moment, and I'm going to test it. Apparently, Council of Vapor is saying you can probably get three months out of it with cleaning it and looking after it, so we'll see. I've been using it solid for three weeks and I've had to clean it out once. You get a little tool, like a tiny little bottle brush that comes with it, and just give it a little clean out, refill it, and it's fine. Uh, but to be honest, really enjoying the Phoenix. It's the closest I've ever had to a proper RDA sort of dripper flavour in a tank. But that's to come. What else? Well, I'm now rocking two Heracles. Got Heracles Plus. This is Heracles Plus. And the Heracles, Heracles version 2. Very shiny. Very shiny. I have to admit, the Heracles, when I got the Heracles Plus, in my opinion, I think it's one of the best sub ohm tanks out there. I love the Heracles Plus. I've had this for a long time now. Got it from Red Hot Vaping. Uh, both of them. And the Heracles Plus can't fault it at all. Stainless steel coils. It'll do temperature control on the RX200. You get a 0.2 and a 0.4, I think, stainless steel coils. No issues with temperature control. Wicks really, really well. You've got the juice flow control. You've got this in the plus. You've got this extra airflow that goes down into the coil rather than just across. So you, you're getting that flavour rather than killing the flavour. And it's a beast. I'm sorry. It's an absolute beast of a sub ohm tank. So yeah, so they're coming up. I'll be doing them together. The Heracles Plus and the Heracles version 2. That review will be coming basically it'll be combined because they use the same coil heads. Uh, I do prefer the V2 because it's a shorter tank, the flavour is a lot more POW! You know, it's stronger flavour from the version 2. Managed to grab myself a Tsunami at last. Yes, yeah, so the Tsunami, 22mm uh, device, uh, very similar to the Kennedy crossed with a Velocity uh, Geek Vape. Excellent to build on, really good uh, sort of flavour coming from the device. My only issue is it's too small, far too small. I mean, that's it on the, the sub zero, it's 22 millimetres, it needs to be 24 millimetres. I mean, I'm getting issues with wicking. I think the deck, if I just zoom into that, I think the deck's just a little, it's a little cramped. The deck is a little cramped. I know that uh, Geek Vape are bringing out a 24mm one. Now I did contact them and said, I'd love to review your 24mm Tsunami. 
but sadly apparently they've sent them out to all the reviewers already and <laughs> I never got one so yes I will certainly be looking forward to seeing the 24mm Tsunami I love the Kennedy 24mm can't afford one I would love one but I can't afford one they're far too expensive you know for <sighs> I mean, I've got that clone that I, I, you know, did the review on a little while ago, and fantastic design. It's just that the tsunami just does it a little better with that uh, velocity style deck and those massive big post holes. But I wouldn't see a twenty-four millimeter. So if anybody out there's got one or would like to send me one for review, please. I will pay for it. So yeah, that's a tsunami. <laughs> when I was up in Scotland, I, I managed to catch up with Mark Todd, and we ate lots of donuts, drank lots of coffee, talked talk lots of bollocks, you know, as you do. Uh, it was great to see him again, and uh, lucky sod, he's on holiday this week with his uh, shed life, which I've been loving to watch when I'm coming for work. And uh, it was great just to catch up with him. And I popped into Rydale Vapour in Malton in Yorkshire on my way back down to Wales. Popped in and saw James, well, Jimmy and uh, Chris. Lovely shop, absolutely fantastic shop. And Jimmy gave me a load of juice. Um, gosh, I've got sluice juice, blackcurrant yurt, gold stash, and creamy biscuit. Actually, creamy biscuit is lush. But yeah, they'll be coming up. But I'm in this group because I've got the Mad Dog Mods uh, competition flagship. I'm in this group that's speci specific for the mod. It's all the owners, really. And one of the guys that's in this group, Chris Hannigan, what I didn't know, he was in Edinburgh. And apparently he's got a shop in Lone Head near where I, my parents are. This is his juice range, it's Highland Cloud, this is the vanilla custard. Uh, Chris, I promise the next time I'm in Scotland I will pop in and I will see you, honest. I did order some of the juice, I thought I'll go online and have a look at his website, uh, highlandclouds.co.uk I think it is, yes, highlandclouds.co.uk and this vanilla custard is Stunning, absolutely stunning. A really, really nice, proper sort of buds custard. I've not tried the banana custard yet, and I've got a whole range of other juices on the website, which I hope to uh, try in the future. Yes, but yeah. Highland Clouds, Chris Hannigan's page. Well, his group. I've got actually, yeah, talking to Mark Todd. I don't like mint, I don't like ice cream or stuff like this, but. He tempted me to purchase some of this stuff. Shamrock Shake. It's like a mint milkshake. It's awesome. It's really nice. I've only got half a bottle left. <laughs> really tasty. What else we got coming up? We have the Tesla Invader 3. This is... Mm, I think it looks like a jerry can. Uh, one of these petrol cans, jerry can. You get it in silver, blue or black. I've got the silver one. It's a dual 18650 series box mod with a potentiometer as well. I think it goes from 3 volts to 6.6 .6 volts. And Tesla are claiming that it'll do 240 watts. Yeah, I know my physics. Um, really? Because it does state you can't build lower, you're not supposed to build lower than you know, 0.1. So... I've not tried it yet, and I'm not going to try it at that sort of wattage. Yeah, I mean, I've been using the... I've actually, I've been using the Heracles on it at sort of halfway. So, like four volts. And it's been performing really well. And then, finally, the Cuboid and the Cubith. Yes, I've had these for a long, long time. And I have been putting the review off and off and off because... Well, to be honest, with the Cubis, I didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. Had lots of issue with the coil heads, having dry hits, flooding, lack of flavour, and just I just wasn't enjoying this Cubis at all. And the Cuboid, I was having, having issues. I mean, I've been, I've, I've had firmware 3.0, 3.01, uh, 
3.10, 3.11. I've tried all the firmwares basically, up and down, all over the place, and I mean, I've had no issues with my RX200. Get no issues with that at all. This thing, the cuboid, I just find it a bit flaky, and it's the 510 is really wobbly. But anyway, back to the Cubis. Spoke to the company that I got this from and explained my concerns regarding the Cubis before I did the review, or before I do the review. And they sent me two, two re rebuildable head sections. Oh my God, it's completely changed this tank. It's, oh. No dry hits, no flooding, flavour is fantastic, really good for lung inhalation. I did watch uh, Phil Bizzardo's video on the Cubis rebuildable heads and he wasn't keen because of it was more designed for lung hitters. I like that. I do, I think maybe with the Cubis, the Cubis standard coil heads because the juice holes are so small and, and in the bottom, maybe because I was, you know, Trying to lung hit, the device just couldn't feed the juice into the coil head quick enough for me, and I was getting dry hit, dry hit, dry hit. And of course, then I'd leave it, pick it up, and it was gargle, gargle, gargle. With, thank you, with this rebuildable head section in the Cubis, perfect. Really, really happy with the rebuildable head section. So that will be coming up. What I do need to say is on the 23rd, I believe it is, 23rd of April, so that's a week on Saturday. Yes, 23rd of April, I will be at Red Hot Vaping in Wensbury. It's the UK USA e liquid cloud competition. And I will be rocking the Mad Dog Mod competition flagship. And also, yeah, I forgot, I've got the. If I can find it. Yes. There we go. I've got this. This is the Vapor Cloud very shiny X1. That's the Mad Dog uh, hybrid adapter on the bottom of it. Because Jimmy and uh, Rhino Vapor kindly gave me a few of the, or a couple of these uh, adapters, so I've got them on a few devices so I can just swap them out. Uh, so yeah, the X1 will be on my Mad Dog mod. The dog! And I will be using that uh, a week on Saturday at Red Hot Vaping in Wensbury. I'm not going to win. It'll be a laugh. It'll be, yeah. <laughs> it's a giggle. Um, yeah, so yes. As I said, I was at Vapor Boutique three weeks ago. A uh, big thanks to Andy Redbeard, to Chris Casimus, uh, Colin Henry was there, Kirk was there. Uh, it was a fantastic night. Guy Humphreys and Mike Cooper. What a brilliant night we had at Vapor Boutique three weeks ago. Lots of juice. Lots of really nice juice. Uh, the flawless, flawless aftermath and uh, Hobo Joe's Grime and South Nine, oh. South Vapes Nine, Nine South Vapes or Nine South West, I can't remember, I can't find it, but it's one of these American uh, e-liquids, it's called Kings Only, oh stunning, really nice, lots of very nice, nice juices that Chris Casimus supplies throughout the country as part of the UK USA e-liquid range which are sponsoring this competition, which I'll be at a week on Saturday, which I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, if you're in the West Midlands area, Wensbury, Walsall, Birmingham, uh, Wolverhampton, you know, Red Hot Vaping from 6pm, I think it is, on a Saturday night, 23rd. Yeah, I'll be there. Anyway. <laughs> looking forward to it. Very much looking forward to it. But anyway, it's just just to say hi and just what's been going on. And, you know, as I said, I've been in Scotland on holiday, uh, building this PC here, uh, reinstalling the software, which I've just finished doing now. And yes, so once I get a day off, I'll be doing some reviews. So thanks, guys. Keep watching. Keep subscribing. Remember my Facebook page, Papa K Presents on Facebook. Please join. And thank you all, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.